and welcome to your first stretching routine of this 30 day challenge that I am providing to you this month. If you didn't know, I am posting workouts every single day this month and today's workout isn't really a workout, it's a stretching routine. Um, I'm going to be posting one of these every single week so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of them. But for today's stretch, it's going to be a quick, simple 15 minute stretch. I really tried to make this for all levels, so whether you are a beginner and are like not flexible at all, or whether you're an athlete that stretches all the time and just needs a quick one to throw into your routine, this one will work for anyone. So I really tried to get every muscle in here. We have feet, we have legs, hips, we have your back, your shoulders, arms, everything, even your neck. I think. So without further ado, let's dive in. For each stretch, we're going to be doing it for about 30 seconds, just because I feel like that's a really good time to just sit into the stretch. But if you feel like one side's tighter, feel free to like pause the video and just hold the stretch if you feel like you want to. That's completely fine. Everyone's different. But we're going to start with stretching our feet. So what I want you to do is arch your foot like this like you're wearing heels or something and try to push your uh, heel through your ankle. So here we go. You're really just going to push that heel forward and feel a really good stretch in the arch of your foot. I'm just going to hold it here for 15 seconds and kind of push, kind of pulse it a little bit if you want. Alrighty. And then you're going to go over your toe. And then do basically the same thing. You're going to try to push your heel forward. This time you're going to feel a stretch on the top of your foot. You can kind of push it forward. I'm going to hold the stretch a little bit longer because I really like it. This one's also great because it kind of goes up into your shin a bit. So if you run a lot and you have like shin problems, this one really helps to stretch it out. Alrighty. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other foot, starting with that, um, arch stretch. So you're going to pretend like you're wearing heels or something and you're going to really push that heel forward. Alrighty, and then go over your toe. This is such a good one. It just stretches out the top of your foot, your ankle, a little bit of your shin. going to do some knee circles. So just bring your knee up and around. This one's really good to open up your hips, especially before really stretching them. It's also just like a good warm up move. Trying to loosen up your hips before a workout. Alrighty. This next one, um, it's like another moving one to still get your muscles a little bit warm. You're going to have a wide stance, your toes pointed out, touch your hands to the ground while in a nice deep squat, and then stand up and roll your shoulders back. Here we go. So when you're in that squat, I really want you to push those knees out. So you don't have to touch the ground if you don't want to. You can go like this. Push those knees out with your hands. The goal is to feel a nice good stretch in your inner thighs. Alright, so now come down and we're going to hold it. So just hold that deep squat. Push back with your elbows. You can also push back with your hands. Feel a nice deep stretch. Alrighty. So come on up. Next, we're going to do a forward fold and then we're going to do a little shoulder stretch in there as well. So what you're going to do is reach forward, then clasp your hands behind you and then straighten them out. Now, 
if this is really hard on your hamstrings, you can slightly bend your knees. But if not, try to keep your legs straight and that way you get a good stretch, not only in your shoulders, but also in your hamstrings. It's also a good stretch for your chest. Pass sway side to side, just loosen up your muscles. Alrighty, gently release and we're gonna head to the ground. Alrighty, so come into your hands and your knees and we're gonna do cat cow. Um, basically what that is, if you don't know, what you're gonna do is arch back as far as you can and then contract into a cat back. Here we go. Again, we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. This is a really good stretch for your back, obviously. <laughs> Alrighty, so staying on your hands and knees, stick one of your legs out and put your toe on the ground and push your heel to the back. And you should feel a really deep stretch in your calf. We're just going to hold it here. This is another really good one if you run a lot and your calves get a little bit sore. It's so, so nice. switch legs kick your other leg back really push that heel to the opposite side of the room and that's when you're gonna really feel a deep stretch down and we're going to stretch out our glutes. So we're going to basically cross one leg over the other like this. However, you don't want this back bottom leg to come under you. So we're not like sitting cross-legged. Your legs should be parallel to one another and this bottom leg shouldn't come under the other one. It should be right in front of it. And then you're just going to push down on the top leg. You'll feel a really deep stretch all the way through your hip, your outer hip and your back your glute. This is also a really nice stretch. It kind of releases any low back pain. A lot of times when you have low back pain, it can do with your glutes and your hips. So this can help to release stuff like that. If you want to make it a deeper stretch, you can reach forward. It's one of those stretches I don't want it to stop. Like the 30 seconds comes up and I'm like, no, I don't want it to stop. <laughs> Alrighty. We're gonna switch legs now. Bring the other leg on top and push down. And this is a really nice stretch because no matter how flexible you are, your leg can be all the way up here and you can just slowly push it down to the point where your knee's almost touching the ground, but there's no rush. You don't have to hurry. You can just breathe into it, let your body relax into it. Don't push your leg too hard. Just remember to take it easy. Your stretching isn't about trying to get as far as you can. It's about just letting your muscles relax and loosen up. Alrighty, next we're going to go into a straddle. So bring your legs as wide as you can. Remember, like, like the other stretches, it doesn't have to be super far. The goal isn't to get as far as you can, it's just to loosen up your muscles. So, However far you are, that's completely fine. Straddle is a bit of a harder stretch for me, so I'm not super good at it. But all we're gonna do is just reach forward. So um, you can reach forward as far as you can. I'm not going too far forward. You can go onto your elbows if you want. I can't do that yet though, because I'm not that flexible. <laughs> Forget to breathe. I think that's one thing when I'm stretching that I forget is to kind of hold up, hold your breath and tense up. 
This is just to relax and loosen your body and breathe into it. Alrighty, so now what I want you to do is like square your hips to one of your legs. So it's, your hips are facing forward. I want you to turn so that you're facing one of your legs and then reach over that leg. And this is going to be stretching the back of your leg. It's called your hamstring. And you don't have to be super low. Again, you can be up here, but I want you to keep that flat back. So try to pull your chest closer to your leg instead of just trying to reach towards your foot. I want to keep a nice flat back so as you can see my chest is touching my leg before I'm trying to reach. Alrighty, come up. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So remember to square your hips first and then reach over. We're going to stay in the straddle and we're going to do a side stretch. So reach over your head and try to reach for your foot. It's okay if you can't quite grab it. And just feel a nice deep stretch along the side of your body. Alrighty, do it on the other side. And try to keep your gaze looking up and that's going to help you not fall over your leg because if you're facing your leg then you're not stretching the side of your body. So you want to keep that elbow up and try to look towards the ceiling and that's going to get a really nice side stretch. Alrighty, come on up. So this next one is really nice for the upper body and your upper back, especially if you're sore. All I want you to do is just clasp your hands together, kind of like you're going to stretch. Well, we are stretching, kind of like you're stretching when you first wake up. And we're just going to do like a really big circle going around your whole body and then coming up and we're going to do it to the other side. Here we go. Make a nice big circle. This feels so nice, especially after you've worked like your upper back. It's just, it feels so, so nice. <laughs> this is something you should do every time you wake up. Just stretch your upper body. Really try and reach those fingers as far as you can. Alrighty, finish the circle and relax. Alrighty, so we have two more stretches. This first one, we're going to be doing a seal to a downward dog. So, for a seal stretch, this basically so this is a nice stretch to stretch out your low back you're just gonna arch back as far as you can hold that for a second then come up into a downward dog pushing your heels to the ground so here we go go down into that seal push your hips to the ground and really feel a deep stretch in your low back and then come up to that downward dog your hips are to the sky and your heels are pushing to the ground Alrighty, so now either you can hold the seal or the downward dog depending on which one you prefer. I'm going to hold the seal but it's kind of like wherever's tighter so if you feel like you want a nice back stretch, you can hold the seal. If you feel like your hamstrings or your calves are a bit tight, you can hold the downward dog. Alrighty, and then finally push back into a child's pose. Alrighty, 
come out of that and that is it for today's stretching routine guys I hope you enjoyed it I really enjoy these stretches I love that it's just really quick you can do in the morning right before you go to work or to school you can do it at night before you go to bed this is great either before or after a workout it's just a really great stretching routine so I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a big thumbs up and tell me in the comments below what video you'd like me to do next and I will see you tomorrow for another workout alright guys bye